Here we go again. Well, as all you know, I cleared the snow in the last video. I had artfully cleared this whole driveway of snow. There wasn't a speck of snow on this driveway. <laughs> and right now it's deeper than it was when I cleared the snow yesterday. It's actually deeper. It's true. And it's still snowing. Boy, oh boy, will you look at these trees. The weight of the snow has got them collapsing. Right here on my property. Look at that. Look at the weight of the snow. Oh my. It's going to break these trees right off. Goodness sakes. Will you look at that? Oh! Oh my goodness! Boy, you talk about a winter wonderland here! Will you look at this! This is my road. I'm trying to think of a time in the North Country here where I've seen this before. I haven't. This is a first. I have never seen the road completely closed off because of heavy snowfall ever till now. Look at this. This road is unpassable right now. Oh, wow. I do have trees down now that I look at it. There, these trees are down. Well, I guess I'm going to have more firewood next year come the spring. I'll be... <laughs> It looks like uh, a lot of these trees are broke off. So, let's go for a walk, guys. Let's go for a walk down the road that I live on. Let's walk backwards here. Look at this. Oh no. Look at this. I wish I was heavy equipment operator on a road crew right now. I really do. 
I missed my calling, guys. This is probably pretty dangerous just to walk. Oh, goodness sakes. Look at this. I said that, didn't I? Trees are just cracking. They're frozen. This is a road, guys. We needed to go to town today. I think we might have to change our plans. Although our road crew is top notch. It's the best. And something like this never gets in their way because they're used to it. Oh, tree just broke off and fell down right there. One thing I can tell you, without a doubt, if there's a more beautiful place on earth right now, I'd like to see it, because I cannot imagine it. You can see the tracks though, somebody drove through there. I got that little smirky look on my face. I just know it. Get a little smug look. Yeah. Because I love it. I just love it. Hey, somebody rode a snowmobile through my property here. Oh well. Goodness sakes. Well, let's walk around. Let's see what other damage is done. <laughs> I'm giddy, I know it, I'm giddy.
It's almost knee deep. Uh, looks like I got a few down trees. That's okay. We're chainsaw heavy here on this farm. We're good to go. No shortage of tools to cut wood with here. For those of you that don't know, I have a five acre property about 30 miles north of Brainerd, Minnesota. And what we call the North Country. Oh, this tree is kaput. Look at these limbs, they're just broken. This is nothing but the weight of the snow. Broke this tree right in half. Splintered it right down the middle. Look at that. Here's my house. Here's my tree. Soon to be in my fireplace. Now, hypothetically speaking, let's just say that we went south for the winter. Let's throw a name out there, Quartzsite, Arizona. We, we went camping in the desert with everyone else. And all of this going on back at the homestead, while well, we're gone, somebody is going to have to step up to the plate and come over to your house in the north if you're not here and take care of this mess. You just can't leave it. Look at this. Well, I guess it, it all depends on there's a lot of damage here. And I, as far as I can tell, don't have any big trees hanging over any buildings. So yeah, that would be an emergency call out for somebody to come take care of if you're not here. I'm walking really slow because the snow is so deep. But I don't know if you guys remember, but remember last year around, or maybe it was earlier this year, around February or March, I bought uh, a pair of super on sale snowshoes that I hung over the door in my shop. I'm gonna have to break those things out, walk around in my snowshoes. I mean, we don't want them to go to waste, right? We want to use our tools for these types of occasions. So, yeah, I might have to get my snowshoes on while I'm breaking out my snowblower. Later on, as you can see it's still snowing right now. I don't want to wait for the snow to stop. Okay.
We, we are definitely snowed in. This is the first time I could possibly remember. This is the first time that I ever remember that we're snowed in. We are snowed in. So, it's a good thing we're preppers, right? We got food, water, shelter, heat. We're good.